One of the most powerful men in Las Vegas and the Republican Party is facing serious sexual harassment and abuse allegations tonight. Steve Wynn is a close friend of the president and raised millions of dollars for his campaign. Tonight, people from the Las Vegas Strip to Capitol Hill are watching to see what happens next. KK9 political reporter Dave Bryan joins us now with more on this story. Dave? You think of Steve Wynn as a casino executive, right? A hotel guy. Uh, a lot of people don't know that he has played an important political role as well. The allegations against Las Vegas hotel executive Steve Wynn are already putting pressure on the Republican National Committee tonight and President Trump. And while Wynn and his company vehemently deny the allegations against him, the political storm clouds are gathering rapidly. Nice to meet you. Hello, this is Andrea. You probably know him as a king of Las Vegas, the founder of Wynn Resorts, a worldwide hotel and casino company. <laughs> Including the Wynn and Encore hotels on the Vegas Strip, the centerpiece of the city. But Steve Wynn is also the finance chairman of the Republican National Committee. So when a Wall Street Journal front page story was posted online Friday containing multiple allegations from a number of women employees who said Wynn harassed or sexually assaulted them, it was a political bombshell. The Journal reported that one case led to a $7.5 million settlement with a manicurist. The paper says the allegations that Wynn's pattern of sexual misconduct with female employees continued for decades were corroborated by dozens of people. Claremont McKenna College political science professor Jack Pitney says the report triggered an earth-shaking political response. The fallout is already coming. He's finance chair of the Republican National Committee, and within hours, the Democratic National Committee was denouncing him and denouncing the Republican National Committee for its silence. Uh, this is a political problem for the Republicans and for Donald Trump. That's where things get a little murky. In an interview during last year's primary season, Wynn said he was friends with both Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump and hadn't given a penny to either one. But that changed when Wynn became a staunch fan of Trump, as he described to CBS This Morning last year. Well, I watched President Trump risk everything in his personal life to go on this journey. And the most incredible, incredible chain of events that led to us having unified government. But the close connection may now put more pressure on President Trump and the RNC to move quickly and decisively. The big damage for President Trump is that it reminds everybody about his own problems. And uh, we're not short of reminders. We just had the story about Trump and the porn star and the alleged payoff. Uh, and every time something like this emerges, people remember all the accusations against Trump during the 2016 campaign. Uh, that's not a good look for a party that needs women's votes in the 2018 midterm. After all, the Democrats took a pounding when the shoe was on the other foot. When similar allegations surfaced against entertainment executive Harvey Weinstein last fall, the RNC chairwoman and other GOP leaders pounded on the Democratic National Committee, demanding that the Democrats return thousands of dollars in donations from Weinstein. But so far, Republicans have been silent about the allegations in the Wall Street Journal report. Wynn's company says it's committed to operating with the highest ethical standards and maintaining a safe and respectful culture. In a statement sent to the Associated Press, it called the allegations part of a smear campaign related to divorce proceedings from Wynn's ex-wife. In his interview with CBS This Morning last year, Wynn talked about his appointment to be finance chairman of the RNC. Raising money isn't so much the, the core of what I'm doing, is reminding everybody, young people and old people, that this is a chance to preserve and protect the things in America that have made America great in the first place. Incidentally, the Chicago Tribune reports Wynn has given more than one and a half million dollars to the RNC and other party committees over the past five years. And before backing Trump, Wynn reportedly gave $2,700 to Hillary Clinton's 2016 presidential campaign. Now, Steve Wynn has put out a written statement. It says, the idea that I ever assaulted any woman is preposterous. We find ourselves in a world where people can make allegations regardless of the truth, and a person is left with a choice of weathering insulting publicity or engaging in multi-year lawsuits. It is deplorable for anyone to find themselves in this situation. 
Ironically, Wynn co-hosted a fundraiser for President Trump just last weekend at Trump's Mar-a-Lago Resort in Florida to mark the first anniversary of his inauguration. You may remember Trump skipped the event because the government shutdown was underway and the president stayed in Washington to work on that. But the event reportedly produced millions of dollars. Jeff, back to you. Okay.